What really scares me is prions. Yeah, you're like unfolded proteins that can make you sick like instantly with no cure and then you die. <laughs> the cell death thing. And it's been building up more and more in the environment, and it turns out that plants can host them. That's pretty weird. Apparently, they, the overall accumulation of prions decreases during seasonal thaw and melt and like, like freeze and thaw and stuff. So um, maybe there's a... Yeah. Oh yeah, prions straight up turn your regular proteins into themselves on contact. It's basically ICE-9 for biology. You all know ICE-9? From uh, the Kurt Vonnegut book? What is it? Sirens of a Titan? No? Well, the, the whole book, the whole book is, um, takes place from the perspective of a, of a journalist or a writer, an artist, I don't remember what. But basically, during the Cold War, they develop they're, you know, they're, they're doing pure science. Uh, they're doing research. They're having fun. They develop ice nine, which is a kind of ice with a, um, a crystal structure that if it makes contact with regular water will instantly turn all of that water into itself. And the problem with that is that ice nine has a freezing point below room temperature, meaning that water will no longer freeze. Oh, sorry, not below room temperature it is a freezing point. Um, that's above room temperature. So rather than water freezing at zero degrees Celsius, water will freeze at around like 30 degrees Celsius, meaning all water on Earth would freeze instantly, including like the water in your body when, whenever it's pure enough that it would be susceptible to the... Anyway, the, the world ends is the point. And, and all regular water goes away forever. And prions are like that, but for your proteins. Is it a real chemical or a book? It's just a book. But theoretically, it's something that could exist. Different structures of the same molecule can have different properties, different freezing points, different whatever the f you know. A prion is kind of like that for a very stable misfolded protein. So if you get a prion in you, it locks in with the rest of your proteins and it, uh, it, it makes them all itself. And as you can tell by a prion, not a very functional structure. You know, you see this? You don't want your proteins looking like this. Chronic wasting disease in deer is a prion disease. You want to show chat what prions can do to a creature? Yeah, deer are really susceptible to this. Um, it's pretty wacky. All their proteins go what is known as sicko mode. It makes them not good. There are, there are some nasty pictures. The videos of deer with CWD are wild. Yeah, they basically act like SCPs. Zombie deer? Yeah, it's zombie deer. Basically, due to CWD taking 18 to 24 months after initial exposure to onset, most cases of CWD are in adult animals. The disease, is, the disease is progressive and always fatal. The first signs are difficulties in movement, weight loss over time, behavioral changes, including decre decreased interactions with other animals, listlessness, lowering of the head, tremors, repetitive walking and set patterns and nervousness, excessive salivation, grinding of the teeth. Increased drinking and urination. The increased drinking and salivation may contribute to the spread of the disease. Loss of fear of humans and appearance of confusion are also common. Can it spread to humans? Yeah, prion disease can affect humans. Not the same that affects deer, but um, the, the underlying principle uh, can be an issue. And there's increasing prion accumulation in the environment. It's all the same prion. Yeah, but the process by which it binds is different, right? There's something about like susceptibility. Yeah, it, it's one of the, re it's, it's the thing people talk about if you do cannibalism, like if you eat a, a human brain, you can get uh, yoinked. You know, trying to find the image that I saw of the increasing dissemination of prions in the environment. Can't find the image that I'm looking for, but that's okay. Maybe we've been on this weird topic for too long anyway. Here, Vosh. Well, it's not an image, but it's something. Map of CWD spread. Oh yeah, that's nasty. The dark gray is known distribution prior to 2000 of chronic wasting disease in free-ranging populations, and the light gray is its propagation in free-ranging populations that is known now. So this is both the spread of the disease and the spread of our knowledge of the disease. Is the light gray ever... No, 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 this. This is the light gray that I'm referring to. It's not just here. Yeah, it happened in the UK. The UK was afflicted by an outbreak of bovine spongiform encephalopathy, 
also known as mad cow disease. The outbreak, outbreak is believed to originate in the practice of supplementing protein and cattle feed by meat and bone meal, which used the remains of other animals. It was crazy living through this and seeing livestock pyres next to every major motorway. Wait, what? Yeah, they had to kill thousands and thousands of cows. That is so pathologic. Jesus Christ. Note that it's not actually known for sure that the prions are causing it. We know shockingly little about prions. We should move off this topic. I feel, I feel like we might be making people depressive. You know, we don't want that. Mad cow disease is our fault. I mean... This is all of our faults, right? <laughs> like, literally all of this is caused by animal agriculture, you know? We could easily switch to an economy and a food economy that doesn't have any of this and be better in so many other ways, too. Lol, tell that to the farmers. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, Vermin. You distracted me before stream. You're not distracting me after stream, too. Taking pictures of Reuben. Oh, wait, these are the pictures of Reuben. Okay, that's a fair argument. These are some very evil-looking photos, I have to say. Evil Reuben. <laughs> Eating the drawstring from a, a Buck Mason bag. Ooh. Look at how evil he looks. What could they be plotting? I'll tell you what he's plotting. He's plotting to meow really loud when I'm trying to get to sleep. That's what he's plotting. 